Um, all right, so here we are. <laughs> this project is finally finished. It's been almost three years. There's been so many ups and downs and headaches and man, I just can't believe it's done. It's super fun and I'm so stoked to finally show everybody. The original setup was just this first half. It was only, I think like 24 feet wide. It's kind of narrow, a little bit sketch, but still super fun. But yeah, it was just, uh, you know, the roll in the jump this landing and uh, that quarter. That was the one from, uh, from the Huck Jam. Kind of when I first started skating Mega, I started thinking about like, man, you know, what if we kept it going? Cause you'd always land the quarter pipe with so much speed and you just come up the landing and just stop. So I started thinking about that a while ago. and like, man, I'd love to like add on, build another jump or build something else to kind of just keep it going. Um, so that's kind of what got this whole idea going. All these pieces that I got from Tony's, man, really came in handy. Like, this stuff is insane. It's like all this aluminum framing. So all the flat is made out of this stuff. Like you can see here, this, this stuff is like, it's never going to warp or do anything weird. So super, super hyped on that. In like 2017, um, Weed Maps came through and gave me the money and they backed it and uh, away we went. So we started with the flat over here and um, went this way. And then, uh, then we started with the jumps. And I think it was, initially it was like back here and it was too close. So we moved it to here, set that, left that alone and then the guys started on the quarter pipe. Brent and uh, the Ramp Carney's crew, they're amazing. Um, they matched it up like perfectly, super solid. Um, just all like the little details that those guys do, man. It was just insane watching them the whole time build everything and just, you know, how they like double braced everything. And just... Then from there, we were like, all right, how big do we make this gap? So. I rented an airbag. We set that up. And I jumped into that a couple times and we were like, all right, I'm pretty much going like this far. So that's kind of what we based it on. About halfway through, you know, we built, or they built the, uh, the gap. And then at one point I was standing over here and I was just looking at this thing and I'm like, man, it's gonna have to go like in the ground in order for it to work. Otherwise it's like, if I just build this jump and the, and the gap and the landing, it's, it's not gonna work. So we ended up digging down like 12 feet and we kept having to dig out because we would dig it out, move all this dirt around. That just made the whole project that much bigger. And it was at that point that we were like, all right, we're gonna need a lot more money to finish this thing. It was better to do it right than to try and just, you know, not dig it out and just have it all flat and just, I don't know, it wouldn't have worked. Then it rained like the most I've ever seen it rain here. And that thing, that hole filled up with water up to my waist, like at least five or six times. Then the next issue was like, all right, we dug all that out. Now there's like a 12 foot vertical dirt wall. I got to put something there to, to retain that, you know? So I had to put that retaining wall in. That was something that wasn't in the budget. So Brent and the guys came back got the rest of this landing in the flat bottom and then it was time to build the quarter pipe and we were trying to figure out how big the quarter pipe should be so I put this airbag in over there and I was like jumping the gap and just hitting the airbag and I had this like speed radar gun and I was testing my speed before that quarter and before I hit the airbag here and I was going a little bit slower there so I figured I'd make it like a little bit smaller so you could kind of go just as high there as, or go just as high there as you are there. 
Um, then yeah, we made it 18 feet. Also the rolling, that's probably one of the sickest parts because you can just roll right back up instead of having to walk all the way back up. And for so long when I was skating this thing, I was just like, oh my God, I can't wait for that rolling to be there. I'll just like roll right back up. And now you can skate, like you can take easily twice as many runs. Huge thank you to Rockstar and Skate Light and Triple Eight and uh, everyone else involved, all the ramp builders. Um, so hyped this thing's finally done. It's so fun. Can't wait for all the sessions to come and uh, just stay tuned. A lot of good stuff coming.